the sun is shining. We are headed out to go thrifting and then um, we're gonna go boating. So we're gonna try to be fairly quick today, but we'll see what we find. We don't have to find a lot because we're also gonna be unboxing three boxes today from Sandy. She is a follower, follows us on YouTube and she had some stuff she needed to get rid of. And so we're gonna be doing that too. So thrifting and unboxing all in one video. I'm super excited for the unboxing because I have no idea what's in there. I know, it's like a surprise. It's like a little trick. We're at DI and you know what? True to form, this is not our regular DI and yet there's still a line. It's, it's a bigger line than It's we like a pretty do intense line. Yeah. Look how pretty the roses are in the parking lot here. Also, look at Zeb's new shoes. He finally got new shoes. Oh, yeah. Well, the rule is when I get a hole in my regular shoes, then I move those to work shoes and I get new ones. So. Okay, so same people see that guy speed walking way up there. It's always a hurry no matter which DI you go to. Everybody has their own way. I'm not used to this one, so I think I'm going to stick inside. Zeb's going to go to the yard. Yes, I am. All right, so I'm going to start in plates first because we have sold so many dishes. I know I keep saying that, but the problem is I keep selling them and I haven't found new ones to replace them. And I'm not sure there's going to be anything here either. Shoot. I actually really like these Lennox plates. I think I'm going to pick them up. They're $1.50 and there's two, three, four. Oh, that one has a chip in it. I think I'm just going to grab four. This isn't anything like collectible, but I do love this rooster mug, so I'm gonna pick it up. It's cute, 70, oh, a dollar, not 75 cents. But I'm gonna get this one. Ceramics area, I haven't bought a trifle dish in a while, and I like the fluted base on this one, so I'm gonna pick this one up. So this is cute, it's $4, it opens, hangs on the wall, I'm gonna pick it up. I think it needs a new paint job for sure. I don't know, these are only like $1.50 each wrapping stuff left and right. I'm not a huge fan of these, but those are kind of cute. I don't know, they're really greasy. I think I'm gonna buy the hearts because they're a fun shape. They're actually really cute um, in Christmas trees. You just like them up in the Christmas tree. Like the flowers on this one. I mean, even if I don't keep this as is, that'd actually be really cute painted. Big enamel roaster. I think I'm gonna pick that one up. We'll see what the price is. Four dollars. I think that's a good price. This is a big roaster. So lots of platters, which we have quite a few platters in the shop. So I'm gonna pass on those. I'm hoping to find more rolling pins, but we love this nightstand. French Provincial. Twelve dollars. Dinwoodies. Oh, this is made locally in Salt Lake. Definitely gonna pick that up. Do I have room for it? We'll see if I can rearrange this. So it fit in the cart, which means it's not furniture, right? That's the rule. All right, let's see what they got here. We haven't been to this one in months, so all of this is new stuff. $10, I don't like the face on this clock. It looks all kind of pixelated and the hands are a little too modern for me. We will move on along. You guys look. Look at this guy sitting over here. Eight bucks. A little dusty, but he's huge. Okay, a little planter. Terracotta underneath, $1.50. What's this one? Oh, I thought that was plastic. That is not. That is also coming. Two bucks. Let's see here, is this all one piece? What is that? I think I can get that candle off. Oh no. Can I paint this and make it cool? Four dollars, it's pretty big. Someone mentioned a bench for the garden. That one's 50. I think we could maybe do something like that. I'll show Jamie. Loving the frame here. I'll, I don't know if that's on the glass or not. Might be, we'll see. This is 15 bucks here, it's kind of cool. Just opens up. Got two little drawers or shelves inside, I mean. not old but it looks cool they left the door open to the back people are always concerned that we're buying all the stuff look at all of that that they're processing back here it's like an entire walmart sized building full of donations that they've got to get out to the floor man i'm tempted i'm tempted oh that's like a. and actually i feel i've 
don't think that's fake. That feels like some sort of tile. 30 bucks each. What could we do with those? So I know Jamie's already been in here, so let's see what she didn't pick up. Let's see what she decided to leave. I'm tempted on this, but I hate getting the foam out of them. But for $2, I think I can get the foam out of that. Someone dropped off their collection of like juice and uh, milk jugs. There's a bunch of them here. Oh, I wonder how much this is. I don't know that I'll take the camel since it's like a lone camel, but all we need on this is a little bit of paint. Two dollars? Taking that. No luck on mugs today. So far, I haven't found any matching that I'm like, yeah, you have to have that. <coughs> Although I say that, and I did just find this false graph mug for a dollar. Does it have any friends? We will look. This is carved wood, but missing a paw. I think a new paint job and a little bit of sanding and that missing paw will be just fine. Let's see if Seb says anything about my cart. Oh look, you got lots of things that need painted. Some things, not everything, but yeah, some. There's some, there's look, some painting I need to things. I find a wreath. Did you see a wreath back there? Um, no, but I'm sure we have one at the shop. Yeah, that's cute. I don't like to sell these online because they're too much to ship, but I sell them at the shop all but the time. This one on screws. Yeah, but it's still really long. Like, that's going to be expensive to ship. We'll see. So we have three carts. I'm pushing the first cart back. We're still loading up two more carts. It's kind of nice because they had boxes. Normally, they don't. So this is going to help us fit stuff in here. So everything out of the three carts does fit in the Land Rover. And how much did we spend? 119 119 That's not too bad. And we're going to call it. Everything was like a dollar fifty, two dollars. It was a nice day. Yeah, well, I spent there was a few four, five, ten dollar items for me, but this is it because we have three boxes to unload at the shop. So we'll see what we find in those. I'm gonna take these two pieces straight to the shop. I'm not even gonna take them inside because they need to be sprayed. We're headed to the shop to pick up those boxes for our unboxing. We are at the shop. Gonna grab those boxes for our unboxing. So here are all the boxes from Sandy. This one I have opened. I've actually even used some of the fabric, but I haven't actually opened it all the way. I just pulled from the top. Okay, so this one's already opened. Zeb's going to undo these. There was some authentic battle damage. So we'll see how everything fares up. Glad to know they treat everyone's boxes the same. Yes. Okay, box number one. Box number one. Lots of foam. Well, that's oh, that's cute. Oh, look, it's a nativity. Oh, look at that. It's definitely old because the price tag says $8.99. That's a cool one. You ain't never got a nativity for $8.99 in a long time. No. Oh, there's more. Look at this. Look at this old rolling pin, the handle on there. She said some good stuff. Thanks, Sandy. Thank you. Oh, a rooster. Oh, with some oh, original I like the, art. I like the florals in that. M. Coates. This Oh, there's some more art. There's another print. Maybe we can frame that in one of the frames you bought last week. Yeah. There's another cast iron uh, rooster, USA. I like Sexton, it. Sexton, USA. Oh, brass duck head. Ooh, like that. So there's Ooh, a brass set. Duck I love it. Okay, I'll do the next box. Unboxings are fun. They are fun, especially when they're like random junk unboxing. Careful. All right, what surprises are in this one? Oh, there's a note. Jamie and Zeb, here's box number two. It, and it's what it contains. Hope you get to make, use, or sell. Regards, Sandy. P.S. No need to unbox live. Well, it's an edited unboxing, so it's fine. It's more fun like this. Yeah. Oh, sticks. nice. Those are cute. So far, knock on wood, like everything's arrived alive. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's frame. a great frame. Oh, transferware. Plates. Oh, I think it's Corelware. Yeah, it is. But I like the print on that. That's a good one. And the Corelware wears like iron, like it lasts forever. Here's more. Good job packing, Sandy. Yeah, look at this. Well, that's Good a fun basket. basket. Oh. Oh, I like that. 
speckled enamel, perfect for like organizing things in. Little teapot. All right. Is that a little creamer? Um, I don't know. I guess this would be a creamer. Did I get everything? Looks like. Box number three. What's in box number three? Very efficiently taped. Yeah. <gasps> copper! Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and copper. brass. I love copper and brass together. Well, birdhouse is. Oh, careful of the string. Step favorite. Step loves birdhouses. This one looks especially well wrapped. I'm going to take it out. What is it? Lots of packing material we can reuse. Oh, cute! The glass. That was a good packing job. It's got like three separate. I wonder if that's for strength in there. I don't know, but I am like really shocked that all this stuff arrived okay. And then a bunch of our. Okay, look at this. Okay. I like the scalloped edges on these ones. All right, now let's look at the fabric. We've got quilt. This is really pretty. It's like... Almost, oh, the patchwork's on this side. Yeah, it's on both sides. So that's really cute. And then the whole fabric. This is like just different random fabrics. So this she suggested used, that those might be good for chairs, which you already did. I, I, oh, yeah. a little enamel picture. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I've already used this on a bench and two chairs. I didn't have time to go through the rest of the box. Like it literally just got on the top of the box. Got some linens. It looks like there's something wrapped up. No, there is. Oh, and more fabric. And then this is more of the Corel wear, it looks like. And then a little note. The card says, thank you for all the videos and inspiration. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. I'll read that one. I'm not filming. Made in Japan. Let me move this box. Because that's the corral wear. Oh, I what love is ephemera. This? this is just like a Parisian. Look, these would be great to frame or just sell individually since the box. So those look like old black and white images that, that they've, they've colored. Colorized. I think I'm going to sell these individually just because this is a situation here, but I think individually people would really love these. That's cute. Okay. Oh, tarnished silver napkin rings. Japanese bird mug. That's good. I know, it's really good. Oh, this didn't, this one didn't We make had it. one that didn't make it. We won't show them that one. Sadness. Mug of sadness. It's like the there. same as this one. Oh, cute little Japanese. I love the bird one. So is it a mug or is it a little potted planter? I don't know. I would call it a pot. Impressive. That's pretty good. I feel like Sammy knows all the things that I like. We have had a really good time thrifting. Special thank you to Sandy. That was really fun. Yeah, we got some great stuff in there. Appreciate you sending that out. It's going to go to some new good homes. I'm going to get all the stuff processed and then at 830 Mountain Time, it'll be live on the website. We'll do our thrift haul on Saturday and we'll see you guys on the next episode. 830 Mountain Time Saturday, right? Yeah, 830 Mountain Time Saturday. That's what I said, right? You said Saturday like three words after that. Oh, okay. Love you guys. <laughs> see you next time. Thank you.